What's up, everyone, and welcome down to another episode of Zetro's Toxic Vault. I'm glad you guys could all join me, and today I have a little family episode, but also music, you know, because it goes with the family that I have, and I have as my guest today, my oldest son, Mr. Cody Souza from the band Hatriot. What's, what's up? Going, what's How you doing? Pops, how nice you? to see you. Yeah. Haven't had you in for a while. I uh, know. I think we kind of uh, had shortly right after uh, or right before Days Into Darkness. Yeah, I think we did a Hatriot week here. Yeah, we did. We did uh, do a Hatriot week. Yeah. So I really didn't get too much into um, into what you what you were doing or I got to doubt because I had to deal with your brother and then Kevin you know, and Costa. Times, actually, I had gotten some messages from fans of yours, not not the Hatriot that are like, one of the best episodes when I brought up the grandma voice and a few elements. We we did get into a few things. I used things the grandma there. voice on the new record, by the way. Yeah, yeah there right? is some. So, so there's a few people that saw. If that's it. a new, kinda, if that's a new little sniglet, I don't know, I don't know. for a minute, but we were riffing for a second. I think there. I used was, the grandma voice on all the records, but it, I did definitely <laughs> use it there. But, but you anyways. have some, you know, some yeah. some new stuff that you've been doing lately, which we will definitely get into. But yeah. um, you know, we haven't talked about the state of hatred yeah. in a while, and I know that. Um, You've actually have some new management working with you. Yeah, and 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 I am a very uh, close close proximity yeah. to that person. You're working with the, the master, Mr. Craig and Lum. Yeah, who yeah. Uh, who on top of being an amazing guitar player, uh, uh, being able to compose books yeah. for heavy yeah. metal records, which I I, as I I can't even you know fathom yeah. what that's like. He does the business end as well. He works with Exodus, and yeah. he's trying to build him, uh, help, uh, himself a quite you know credible stable. And he's got you guys in there now. Definitely. And um, talk about the excitement that you feel working forward with Craig and because. I, knowing Craig and playing with Craig and mm. seeing what he does, he doesn't sit around. He no, gets yeah. shit done. He gets he, he very gets he moves on things. Things get going in the right direction. Yeah. Um, he's a very credible person when to speak to him. Only honesty comes out of his mouth, Definitely, whether you um, want to hear it or not. Right? Regardless, a few and, and you know what? Like honestly, that have already come down the road, and I love and, that. And I love and that's that too because how you I, taught me growing I up. I want that. Yeah, I yeah. want brutally, brutally be. We're please. not moving forward without that. Totally. Yeah, you have to be brutally honest in this business if you want to survive. Yeah. You have to be brutally honest, even though, like when I was a kid in the beginning. I didn't want to hear about it. Just uh, where, where, where's all the girls? Where's the coke? Let's when are we going on the road? Right? Where's yeah. the party? Well, are we playing tonight? Who cares? Yeah. But the money, yeah, fuck the money. Let's go. Right? We'll be fine. Let's go. Yeah. Which I think, you know, and the business, we're like, ah, business, ah, business, schmizness. You know what I mean? We're like, this is fun. Yeah, yeah. And then later on, like, you're like, hey, wait a minute. What happened to all that? <laughs> what, what were we? Wait, I wait. I guess the Patriot kind of recently mm. did that. It wasn't so much sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Right. But it was more just, it was always our hobby and us kind of um, just doing it on the back burner of our jobs and school and everything we had going on. So we're finally to a point in life where I'm kind of settled down with a house and a wife and, you know, all of our demeanors and everything in life there. Um, and, and moving forward, we're, we're ready to take this. We're, we're saying to ourselves, we're treating this as a small business. We're moving forward. Well, you know, and, and, I, and, I, and a lot of people do uh, ask me questions and I see comments about, you know, about them. And I've always said all four of them have really good jobs. Yeah, yeah. And to go on tour and live in a van for that. I mean, especially after as good as you guys do and as you live at home, I mean, you know, you drive a nice car and you have a nice house. You've done your well for yourself. Your brother has too. Costa, Kevin, they're all well rounded in what they do. So you have to step back to go forward, I guess, sometimes. And people yeah. are not, sometimes don't want to give up that. Wait a minute. I'm going to be away from my family for six weeks right. and you're going to stuff me in a van. I'm going to have to do 900 miles runs and sleeping with my foot over Kevin's head while he's there. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I come home and I'm broke. Yeah. Why would I do that? So. And so that's a lot of the reason why a lot of your favorite, maybe underground or smaller bands, you don't necessarily get a chance to see because... Right it's not financially feasible for them and they may they may have young families even so if they yeah. don't especially if you live in California no, totally. and I really hate to say it I mean it's it's, it's a different world here in yeah. this state oh, you know the rest totally. of you pay I mean I was in Tennessee a couple of years ago yeah. to do a benefit and I'm walking we're driving by a gas station it's like a dollar 87 a gallon we yeah. when I just your your sister took me to the airport I <laughs> 
four dollars and thirty cents I put in her tank, you know, a gallon. Yeah, so it's quite different to live here, and yeah. I go all over the world, so I know this. And so uh, I think that's an advantage that Hatred has kind of had, though. I mean, kind of teetering back to what you had is uh, I never, you know, offense, love you, but we never grew up a rich family. You know, all, all I had was experiences and trials and tribulations of what you had. So people that I mean, good thing that my head wasn't in the sand, good, trying to get on tour, trying to get ourselves in debt, and trying to do everything else. We're now at a position where we can be stable with our lives and commit to hatred moving forward so maybe call it that second generation of you know musician or learn monkey see monkey do i used to say a lot you know on my my, my own page and everything so um but yeah i, I think that's kind of what's maybe kept us ahead and now it's to the point where we can move forward so like i said really excited to work with craigan um we're already working well on the next album we just set up all of our youtube pages i recommend everyone to go check out hatred's official youtube page has been set up so that's going to be avenues to we're going to call legacy hatred videos with you that's nice. going to be everything that is zetro well, we're going to we're going we'll to we're going we're to get all into that stuff we're going we're definitely yeah. going to go i'm going to go down every lane today that definitely. we haven't touched and um, I want to talk. I want to go into the music of it because uh, "Days Into Darkness" was just a re- kind of a, a really separation from what I did with you guys. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I, I think agree. we were definitely more old school Bay Area thrash type metal. Although Coast is well versed in writing anything, he can write fucking hair metal. Whatever, I mean, dude. He's he like, plays hair metal better you know, than hair and metal. Then the hair, I, I he know. should be in Steel he Panther. He should be in Rat. He should be in Steel Panther. <laughs> Are you kidding me? If they ever saw him play, they might have to think oh about God. having a We've already had second the guy. I'm just telling you. But um, and and the album did really well, and it got received really, really well. And um, unfortunately. You weren't able to tour on the record, and and yep. um, and you know because things would happen. But um, actually, we're on the same festival uh, coming this year. If it happens, Alcatraz, right? Two, I don't, yeah. We're actually. I don't know if we're on the same day, but yeah, I see. We see we're on Alcatraz. Everyone's on Alcatraz. There's a there's a Bay so Area crazy. representation. That's great. On that we're festival. all ready to go. I love that. We're all ready to go, um, and I, yeah. that's what I also want to say. For all of you guys that read on Father's Day and you see all the pictures of everybody with their kids and their. I was the first one who had them. I'm sorry, but Hatred was a real band first. I had you and your yeah. brother in with me. You guys are real musicians. And now that I have no longer been in the band for seven years and you've still continued and yeah. still Definitely. hold some head, I don't know of another Generation musician still. that's in yeah. my my position that has children that are in a band that have as much run as you guys yeah. got. Just saying. I would say insights just, up there, Cavalera's just, son. Yeah, but yeah, I'm just that's, saying. That's the only other one I can think of. I love you know? Richie and I love yeah. the Cavaliers, but I don't. Yeah. I don't think they have the run that Adrian yeah. has. And I appreciate I'm just that. Being honest, and I do love them, and I love the family, and and I every time I see them, it's great. But I just see your name more. Yeah, you know what I mean. And maybe it's not because I'm your father, but I'm looking because I'm a total metalhead. Yeah, totally. So now that you know, Days into Darkness came out in um, in September of, of 2019. Mm-hmm. This mess we've been in kind of um, put a damper on a lot of things. Times times gone by very fast, almost a year now. Yeah, it, which is for well, it's, it's been seven years for us. So, but who's counting, right? <laughs> so, uh, um, new music i mean are yeah. you gonna get a record out yeah. and no we on. are um so we we have how uh, close talk songs yeah I mean, no we there. are we have because i can't talk songs right now you talk songs so we have 11 songs ready to roll um we have two left we have to write lyrically so everything has been in the the cody stream lab the hatred studio we have pre-productioned everything we are almost ready to go knock on mr juan's door you know start shopping prices with everybody Juan or tiago Juan or tiago who's, tried in studios he was trying good to friend of the these, show here yes in in fact, he, uh, I had to do some uh, vocal things that we wanted to add yeah. to the new Exodus record, and so I went in with Juan and yeah. did them actually. So Juan has some Juan has some credit on the an new amazing Bay Area. Stable, yeah, of course, sure. and everybody works with yeah. him. But I, I, uh, um, so you're at that level. We're at that level. We, uh, we gonna we need talk to about the songs. <sighs> Can you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's different, man. We are uh, definitely straying away from. Uh, the EXO sound even more if we if there was still so some left. There's evolution that's there's going on. There's even more evolution going on there. That's definitely. fine. Um, evolution there's, is fine. 
You know, I, if, if you go off and check Costa's page, he's got a bunch of influences he dropped. I'll leave it at that because he kind of writes all the music and I don't want to spoil too, too much. He put a, comp uh, a compilation of, I think, 12 albums. He said that's what this one sounds like. And, uh -huh. you know, very at the gates -ish at times, very uh, no, uh, I wouldn't kill switch at other times, uh, at the heavy timers for that. them. I'm not going to say I'm, I'm up there Good guys, um, singing like Jesse or, 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 or you know. Um, Whatever. I mean, I think but, your style is definitely like me. Yeah. But... Uh, you have your own way and your own thing and it's yeah, not it there's nothing wrong with going yeah. um um you know in different directions or trying different things i mean i think morphing is a good thing in a lot of ways you know and i yeah. think the bay area exodus legacy testament style sound yeah. that the band had initially when i was there was definitely my drive because right. That was your homage. Right? That's I mean. my my that's my that's my barometer. You right, know, yeah. You know, Wrong there. Right. That's my barometer. That's where I've been, and that's and I'm I don't fancy necessarily artists who are known for something that do something new. and try something else that's right. really not in the vein of what they did, regardless if it's the musicianship that they feel with themselves. Right. I just feel this is what I am. This yeah. is what I do. This is the type. Like I, I've done double and death control. For what you do? Definitely. I've done Tenet. Yeah, and those even were Tenet was a little heavier, but it was still very still in you the, on vocals. Still in the very vein. you on. Was, no, yes, and, and that's what I'm commending that. Yeah. Still in the veins. Like so that was probably the heaviest guitar. No, not heaviest guitar work, but uh, definitely different heavy vocals. Diff yeah. Definitely, definitely yeah. by aggressive vocals on there, but the music called for it. Yeah. So. Until you guys all get to hear Persona Non Grata, and then that's going to change your mind. I can guarantee <laughs> that. I'm telling you. Yeah. I've, so, so. I've been there for I'm, a few I'm of them. Telling you. <laughs> yeah, well, you did backup vocals. That's so. the, the only ones I've heard, but yeah. You did backup vocals. Yeah, I know it's been. Yeah. I could play it. I, I could play him the record because he's my son. <laughs> so, um. Might have to do that after this. So, when do you think, and, and, and let's talk about this final record with massacre then you guys are free agents yes, which means you've done four great records with the label that's pretty much kind of got you up there and yeah. now it's time to go yeah. is that step, the mentality step out of the triple a league great for sure. great we want to uh we will be knocking on doors um of, of the bigger betters and just everybody i mean anyone right. that wants to give hatred a bigger chance to Good. shout out nothing that Good. massacre was bad we loved everything we did with them no they we definitely will, we will finish I up think our them, contract with them right? moving yeah. forward and one more record um, with them yeah and then uh moving moving after that uh we are actually writing this album to write the next i mean we were we are going to be a constant I, content machine i would say work is the if definitely want to hit this thing Work is the best kind of thing. kind of what molds a lot of what we'll talk about later too is what we've trying to do with Hatred. As I said, we've become a small business in LLC, whatever you want to call that. We are a constant content of of rock and metal entertainment. So whether you are catching us on stage live or you're going to be going on our YouTube page and catching Costa's angry guitar lessons, you can constantly get content from Hatred on all ventures. You that's want to play great. video? That's a great you idea. Know, you want to play video games? You can play with me, and we'll talk about that later. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you're going to have drum playthroughs. We're going to have <laughs> guitar playthroughs. Content, content content man we just want to constantly make friends just be be, be you know be better 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 known in the industry and let you know that hatred does bring it at the end of the day the music will speak for itself we're not a gimmick of any sort but I don't, just a I full agree. spectrum I don't of think entertainment metal you know what i mean in, in a whole is a gimmick yeah and i don't i don't care what you what which bands and i don't you know, because we're Slipknot fans. Oh, I love And I love Slipknot, too. And I know a lot of guys that don't feel... You know, and he said it verbally even... last night. I, mean, I won't say names, but I saw someone on their Twitch page, you know, saying, oh, and I'm not going to say names. It's just because of costumes. And I definitely disagree with that. I, I, disagree I with think that. that it enhances it. I think that's what gave them but, their break, for but, sure. But I'll the music say speaks this. For I like the songs. I'll sit there and sing the songs. And Catchy, heavy. I like the show. They started shredding and after the third I album. Like the you know what I mean? Show. Totally. And I... And if you're going to give me all that and I'm going to have that, man, because Full I love Alice Cooper, I love yeah. Kiss, that I love, give me a show. Yeah, you love the I'm king, expecting... right? You know? <laughs> exactly. The yeah. king's my friend. Exactly. King exactly. Diamond, give a shout out to the damn right. <laughs> I want comments right? on the king there right now. Go. Start sending them. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, exactly. I love that whole thing. I think it's neat. I like. Bands like us who yeah. go on stage and just balls out, bang our fucking heads. You ain't getting the slow sweat, one, yeah. And you ain't, I'm going to kick your ass from the start right. to finish. Totally. You'll get no ballot here, damn you. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? And that's how I want it. But don't get me wrong. 
I fucking love to see those nine motherfuckers up Dude, there beating on shit. And and remember when the they used pyro, to the drums? The, the fucking snare drums. drums. And then throw them over the fucking... And the crew's like in the, the back. Because like, the we're on the side of the on stage. stage. You don't know this. I'm standing on stage <laughs> with them. They were like, you know, we became friends with them. Yeah. And they let us stand on stage and fucking crews back there like baseball guys not knowing where the ball's going. Dude, they're like playing dude. pop flies with like microphones, that, that, snare that, drums. They're just taking it and they hug it. <laughs> if it happens to not make the landing, it happens to not make the landing. I it's think it just, fell and they, they used it again. They didn't whatever, whatever. But I like that. I like the rawness good, of it. Good. And yeah. I'm, and and I and I always will. Yeah. I like black metal for that. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. The lot. You, you always know. saw me even as a kid. You're like nothing else. I think we saw what Demu outside. Demu oh, boy yeah, here. And anything. you were like, it did no justice. They they did played the sun can. was still up. Exactly. It was like it was over. Exactly. You, know? you, gotta, yeah. you gotta go see like Dark Funeral. Yeah. You know what I mean? And <laughs> with all the makeup, all the the lights, the smoke. Yeah. That's what I. That's what it is. That's what it is, and that's what I want from it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I had to shout out to. Dark funeral. That's my boy. He's my boy. I love yeah, those guys. Get it. Love heavy. those guys. So, um, so I I love the fact that you're going to continue work. Yeah. And it's keep- uh yeah we have Kevin uh you know we were talking about video editing and stuff for this obviously for the vault shout out our our boy Wayne um but like Kevin we have him con- he's our video editor of the band he is constantly backlogged with material if Kevin doesn't have something to edit the production line has stopped that's kind of how the mentality is with lately we want to get a video we want to start doing more EP songs demos because the new album's coming out not so much music content right now but you know just kind of that constant let him yeah, know we'll, you're coming we'll we'll do we'll do a cover we'll just throw <laughs> it on there and it, you know it is what it is so <laughs> have we're, fun full circle i want to talk about your twitch page but we'll be right back after this and then I'll, we're going to get onto your twitch and all that other kind of stuff right definitely and we are back to the vault where i got my son in here mr cody Souza from hatred and now um i do this youtube thing but you do this really cool thing called twitch yeah Talk about that. Oh, Talk about what you've been doing. It's been a Talk journey. about the gamer gaming. Yeah, this is kind of. Um, I I I feel that it's re-sparked your interest to play music. It kind of has some weird reason. Yeah, it has. You've set up a studio in your house. You have this little whole little thing got your little lights on and yeah. then I, you got, like, I got you my know, own little uh toxic vault, vault going on going on i know <laughs> yeah mine's uh um, yeah a little more so, band and video game oriented so talk sure about that. that talk about what the forum is like on that and, yeah i mean because I, mean, I know guys like him matt heafy from trivium yeah, do it and, huge he's and, and also he's alex ben one. who used to play yeah. hatred yeah, he alex does it we, and jason bittner a good friend yeah, of the family and good definitely. friend of us he does it as well and i know yeah. that Gene Hoagland, another Gene good Hoagland friend of the it. family yeah. and friend of the um, show. So, a couple other big shout outs in the metal world. Um, Pete Weber from Havoc, the drummer uh-huh. from Havoc. He's nice. on there. Nice. Yeah, um, I saw he you shows a bunch of love, dude. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, love the Daniel Havoc, DK from Exciter, the guitar player from Exciter. Oh, really? Dude. Both of their pages, man. Yeah, I mean, everyone you listed, but Exciter. plus all I love those dudes. Exciter. Yeah, check out, dude. Those guys put on an effing show, man. And like, I do my. Is it a show? Is that it's what it kind of sh- is? A, D- a DK show. He calls himself the, 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 his fans of the DK Army. Oh, really? Like, they came in and raided my stream the other night. It was <coughs> awesome. And it's like, you know, since this mess we've all been in, we can we can go to shows and I've made mosh pit emojis. So when I start playing music and stuff, you can mosh in my little text pit and people like that. And the uh, um, we got people that help us out and everything, but yeah, like I said, everyone you listed and everyone else. Um, um, also, Mike Leon from uh, Soulfly, the bass player of Soulfly. Oh, really? Dude, he shows me love on there. Nice. And, like it's there's there's definitely there's Twitch musicians, but there's also the metal musicians that have gotten on Twitch since everything has frozen over. Uh-huh. If that makes sense. Yeah, so sure. I, I I'm like I'm like the prospect of the crew. They all get way more viewers and stuff than me, but they all give me a give, you know it's but that's great. Are you it's, having it's fun? Cool. With I'm it, having so it? much fun. I feel like it's a click of us kind of doing this. And, Neat. Um, I, I call it the metal Twitch movement. Like I said, all the Trivium boys are on there. They call themselves the king of streaming. So, of course, Matt Heafy. I kind of took a book out of his page, though. He kind of, a lot of the other guys do just play metal. I kind of use it as an entertainment platform as well. I play video games on there. As you know, you got me into video games very young. And still, I am 30 years old. I still will buy a Pokemon video game. And I, I, I'm a legit gamer, too. So, as, now, as is it I'm more metal. of that? I mean, because I'm really, we know Pops. Ha- yeah. Pops has, I, I look at the computer and go, hmm, 
How do you turn this thing off? Right, right. So so picture Twitch kind of as a platform, because um, a lot of people I've tried to invite, like, oh, I don't want another social media. It's a way to join someone else's when you go live with the vault. It's a whole complex of people just going live. Now, people can play their recorded videos, but the content usually is live. So um, what'll happen is, like, say you're into podcasts and talk shows, right? You will bring that up as your domain, and it'll only show podcasts and talk shows. It'll show you the person with the most views down all the way to the person that has zero views in their room. So it's an algorithm game at the same time. Uh -huh. So when I was doing my podcast, the What's Fecked Up podcast, what's fecked we call it What's Fecked Up. So fecked up. yeah, so it's uh, we talk about Inside what's joke. Well, yeah, What's Fecked Up with the week, um, all puns intended. Um, we were in that domain last night as we were doing that with our buddies, with the uh, ten to twenty of us that are in there. Um, shout out, you know, to all the all the mods and stuff that help us out throughout the time on Twitch too. My talk page, about you can shout yeah. out to your moderator. No, like I said, my, my moderators coming in there, my my captains Do coming in there. They go by handles. Uh, they go by handles. So we got like Paddy Bob's in there. We got plain old Bry's in there. He definitely helps me out. He's not necessarily a mod, but there's a lot of people that come through there. Shout out to the people um, that help you, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, we got uh, Sean Reed's in there. Um, shout out to a lot of my captains like Necro and Johnny Goat. Of course, my lovely wife, Squid Nay. She's the loudest voice yeah. in, in the chat, which is funny too. Alex Bent, his vo his wife is the loudest person in the chat, which is, you know, support from the old ladies Great. there. It's a That's lot. Nice. It's, I'm on uh, twitch.tv slash Cody underscore Hatriot is my channel. Which domain. actually we'll, we'll, we'll put on the screen we can here. Put on here, Wayne, yeah. Wayne will Wayne will handle all that kind of stuff. Definitely, so, and, and we'll um, keep it laying, laying there because. Say that again, you say yeah. No, yeah, you can you tell I say it a thousand times a day. Yes, yeah, so uh, twitch.tv slash Cody underscore Hatriot. We'll there get you, you there. You don't well, need an I'll account. Put it right here. Yeah. I'll make sure. You, know. you don't need an account to watch it or anything. You can just honestly log in. If you find out the URLs for Jason Bittner, or like if you're really resistant to making an account, you can just find these guys' URLs. Just join up their page and watch them play covers, watch them play their tunes. What I think the coolest thing is, and not even like gloating on me anymore as a fan, is I can get into Bittner's stream and i can be like bro biddy what's going on like tell him to request a song play a song he acknowledges me i'd see bittner what once every five years at a show somewhere because he's a new yorker you right, know what i mean like right. I, it would never happen but i hang out with him usually every saturday i have my coffee bittner's on saturday mornings i kick my thing on it's a tv channel it's a program that we all tune into so, uh, technology yeah no, like like hefe he's an animal he does two times a day during the week morning and evening i do two hours a day every single evening at 6 p.m that's my generic time you can catch me on the weekends and so really else. So we show yeah. you in every single evening. I gotta get ready. 6 p.m. That's Pacific Standard uh, Time. Pacific Standard Time. California. 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 For that side, uh, <laughs> uh, nine o'clock New York. Yeah, and that would be uh, three in the morning if you were in Europe, and two in the morning. Yeah. If you're in England. So you probably don't you. get too many overseas. So overseas is hard, but on my weekends, on either Saturday or Sunday that's why morning. I, that's why he's going in the morning, bro. That's why. And he's East Coast. I, he gets those numbers. Oh, I know. So that's the only, cause, because I do work a full-time job and I'm busy all the way, almost up right, to my baby. stream. He's young. Oh, get shit. Get up. <laughs> Get up. That's not it. That's not it. No, I do do a weekend stream in the morning. That's so, great. So my European friends, shout out my like my boy Johannes Shreds, and I got a couple people over in Europe. Now, they is come your over. Numbers better on that on that day because you can reach more people. So, sometimes or is there it depends. More people do, like doing it at that time. It, it, so it, it depends, man. It never dies. You can log on to Twitch at one in the morning and someone's doing a DJ set somewhere in their room, like bumping to themselves in their fucking headphones, dude. It's ridiculous. Because it's, I know that because like uh, the other day we went live. And when we first went live, yeah. it's when they stormed the Capitol. Oh. So for five minutes, I was like, we were like, oh shit. Are we on? <laughs> I mean, literally, it was like none of you guys were in that yet. Happens. You had, you hadn't. Um, maybe you'd gotten the, the message. The first five minutes of a stream can be awkward. You log in, you don't know who's in the chat yet. People are still oh, we're finding like, so, yeah, People are still. So Walt to all. Yeah, Walt, yeah. you want to open these gifts? I'm all. Well, nobody's watching. So when are you going to open the gifts to? <laughs> so then all of a sudden we're like, happen. we want to know if you're on. And then all of a sudden we had somebody come in. Yeah. Yeah, we're seeing you guys. And then somebody said, the Capitol's being uh, oh, stormed oh, right now. <laughs> so. Everybody's watching that. And I go, yeah. I was like, I'd be watching that. I mean, it was, oh, you know, man. riveting television. Who the hell wants to look at my face? Yeah. But then within 10 minutes, it went yeah. like that. And we couldn't even take the, the the questions and the comments that came in. But that that's what I get. And I will be going live more. I'm um, as, um, you know, we're waiting to go release a record and waiting yeah. to go out on tour. So um, I'm probably going to go live more. I'm definitely, I have guests, you know, that I try to get lined up, but, yeah. um, 
you know, due to circumstances, I can't necessarily get him here. I, I'm, you know, I'm trying. Um, uh, but uh, a lot like of asks, a lot of the asks, hey, get your dad going to get on Twitch. You can do that. I go, he's very proud of what he's got going on with the vault. Um, Twitch, like last night, randomly, it's very pirate radio. My audio will cut out on me randomly. And I'm the only man. There's no tech. There's no one here. I have to figure it out on the on the spot. And no offense, Fred Flintstone. I love you. It's not happening. No, 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 no. So, See, I know how um, to do this part, <laughs> and, and I do this, this part. part, and I do this part. Yeah, but it's been a lot of learning curve for me. Part, I, I definitely, I have a lot more appreciation for what Wayne has to do, and uh, on Mr. your behind fucking, the scenes, uh, definitely. Uh, I don't know what kind of jacket you would call that. What is that? A, it's is a peacoat. That a, he's, he's got a, he's a peacoat. He's, peacoat he's got today. a peacoat on over there. And he, he just got a perm. Little glasses. He just perm. got a glasses. perm. He's the one who takes it. <laughs> For all you people that watched Rob Dukes, he's the one that edits all that stuff. I go, yeah. I sit there and go, yeah, sounds great. Yeah, sounds great. Wayne, that is just great. And that's what, that's what, and I'm sorry. Yeah. I never wanted to learn technology. Honestly, I don't get on computers. I don't have time. It took me forever to get you on an iPhone. Officially, I, you honestly, liked it because it's very user friendly. But my, but my other point is, is forever. Too. I don't. But I'm not. I'm. I'm too yeah. hyper to sit still. Yeah. So to sit there and go in front of a screen and go click, 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 and he click. Oh, dude. Put yeah. a fucking horror movie on it. I'm good to go. <laughs> Put a pipe. Fuck yeah. that. Exactly. Give me a goddamn pipe. And I, I don't want to sit there and go. Yeah. And then I'm returning. And then all of a sudden it freezes or I I get a virus or some guy's trying to scub button. And then I got to call some. Account. And I got to call some motherfucker and go. And go. Um, yeah, so I'm having problems. And they're going to go. Well, then you're going to take the number and good. And I'm not going to understand them. And I'm so with all due respect. Inspect it. Ah, I just don't want the hassle. Right. So I, I don't deal with the technical ends of anything. Even a lot of things putting the stream lab together, it was like I'd be stuck on something. The drums is feeding back or the drums drops out after 30 minutes of use, right? The set's going to be longer than 30 minutes. So I'm on forums and I'm digging and I, I bet Wayne knows that. Oh, yeah, if you have this exact same brand with this exact same wire, after 30 minutes it'll drop. You got to put it in this port and do like so effing pirate radio. I can't even describe it. So, but it turned out great. Both uh, shows. I would be so pressed. Break, break a leg. Like, yeah, it's, but yeah. I'd go in and know? start smashing shit and going, fuck this. I don't want to do do this anymore yep, yep. this is fuck this thing yeah. i don't know how to turn that on <laughs> fucking thing went off on me have to be no. people didn't even know i was up there they're yeah. going what's up zet and i'm fuck this i don't yeah. need this shit so but i'll go back to my home place where i'm comfortable but there's some on there like i said i'm pushing the metal twitch movement there's other metal musicians on there i definitely well, I, think I, should check it out if we can't go to concerts right now it's the next best thing that's free and and you know what it's a whole nother medium which gets you next closer to the artist. What yeah. if you're like a huge, okay, I'm going to say Hatriot or even like Shadows Fall, whoever. Shadows Trivial. Oh, Trivial fan. fan. Alex acknowledged and every and single and one and of his fans, dude. I swear you, to God. Get, I mean, if I was a kid and you tell me I was going to get on a, on a fucking conference call with Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin and watch him play Call of Duty play Call of Duty well whatever, <laughs> whatever and he goes play. hey Zetro what's up <laughs> I would have given you my birthday yeah. money my Christmas money I would have yeah. sold my fucking badass Schwinn right. to, to do to for that opportunity are you kidding me so now yeah, the 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 fan artist relationship yeah. has become because I even have it there's many fans that I've met on social media and you know who you are. Yep. And there's many fans that I just, you know, answered back to on Instagram or yeah. whatever, who now we have <laughs> relation, even, you know, well, people that. So one thing I've made it a point and like not to be snobby, whatever. I don't, I, on my channel, I don't call them my fans. I don't call them my viewers, my friends. I really, every single night for two hours, you can get on there and kick it with me. If you want, if not, I'm going to play video but games I've, and have I've fun with my damn self. That, and I yeah. don't use, no, and I I'm not using it badly, but right. I'm saying, but because and Twitch is so over interactive, you can be friends with people. People, like I said, I was never more of a friend with Jason Bittner until I got on Twitch. He was always your partner, but now, dude, we'll have a quick little conversation on that. You know what I mean? It's It gives an avenue, and I'm not saying like it's pompous or anything like that. Um, when Pops goes live, you know what I mean? It gives him more of an option to kind of do that stuff when he's got Walter reading it. I'm good right now. Oh, he's uh, good right now. That's all good right now. I just, so, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, living the dream, right? Living forever, Cali right? Phony and federally legal now, too. I can't piss nobody <laughs> I know, off. I know. That's a, that. Uh, we'll see how long that. They'll find some <laughs> snag to not be federal legal. You know, you'll go there and they'll go, yeah, it's federal legal, but... We didn't really do it federal, federal legal here, so we still haven't brought it. I know. I we'll just see. know how it works. Oh, because you're thinking tour-wise. Gotcha. Whatever. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Makes sense. I Makes thought sense. I could have this. Well, you can, but you can't. It's like, <laughs> how many fucking times I've heard that? 
No, what did you sir. say? There's a, there's, a, there's a stop in Texas that pops everybody. Or in something. Texas, and there's just one that fucking happened in New Mexico that oh, we really? hit. That I hit a couple You're years like, ago. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a week behind Snoop Dogg on tour, and he just got popped. We got to get rid of all the mud. I, swear, I, I usually do the, <laughs> the report because it's yeah. like some of these things they're looking for, but they're not really. They're really honestly, yeah. they're looking for C4. They're looking for explosives yeah. and 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 you know, you know on I5. You can you know, speed on I5. They're like, looking for drug yeah. trafficking. Yeah. You know what I mean? They don't tell care about I'm you. I'm going to tell everybody out there right the now. The Audubon? You mean I Audubon? live in the Bay Area in Dublin, California. I left Phoenix at 5.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. and I got home at 2.30. Moving. No, seven? Uh, no, no. no. Eight. No, I left at five. Nine. I got home at two thirty. Nine and a half. Nine. Yeah. Seven hundred and twenty-one miles in nine and a half hours. We're good. Moving, baby. <laughs> Moving. Yeah. So, so um, um, you're is that seven days a week for you, Cody? Dude, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, like I said, um, uh, on the evenings after I get off work, six to eight usually, um, California time. On the weekend, I usually do a morning stream on one of the two days, and on the evening of one of the two days, we do our podcast with our friends, or we just talk. So this is Wednesday. Music. The, today's Wednesday. You're going to be so tonight's Wednesday. So yeah. tonight they can at six o'clock tonight. Yeah, you're going to be on live. Yes. Okay, so you want to hang out with my son tonight? You want to hang out on, uh, on with? Him? I can ask some pops questions if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's totally. do that. Anyone totally. has any growing up with and pops he knows questions? That shit too, and he's not afraid to fucking tell you. Get my my, so, my mouth get me in trouble sometimes. Yeah, well that's. Okay. Okay, I mean, and I, you know me because I'm I'm very brutally honest, and and I don't say fans in a downgrade because if I don't know you, I don't necessarily definitely. admit at you, my friend. But no, we, in heavy metal, I've always said we are one big happy family community, definitely. and and not everybody's into heavy metal. Oh yeah, and and if you love it and and it's what you are, then we are a family, and you are my friend, and and I think. When you meet me live and you meet see me on stage and the way I speak to the crowd, yeah. I never speak above you. I speak on your level because I am the biggest fan yeah. in the fucking world. I agree. And I fortunately get to play with all of my heroes and a lot of my heroes yeah. know my name, you know, yeah. and that is the greatest feeling in the world. And I'm very fortunate for yeah. that. So I don't take it for granted. And that's why I'm a big fan. I'm, you know, been keeping myself in shape. As you know, the last yeah. seven months I've been transforming and every morning I do five miles, seven days a week. I have to I call you during that mile. I can attest. Five. He does it. I five. Ask him. Out. He'll say, what are you doing? I'll usually drive I'm, it in or in between service calls and I'll give him a ring. Yeah, yeah. I'm out. Yeah. Doing, I'm, where are you at? I'm, I'm on the trail running. Yep. And so uh, when I'm out and I'm there, I got headphones on because I can't do it without music. I'm, I'm listening to heavy metal music Fuel or machine. punk <laughs> music yeah. or some type of hard hard rock music could be anything from distorted Alice guitar Cooper. needed huh? thank you i'm not listening to rap music i'm not a big fan of rap music i have much respect for rap music but i don't listen to it it's not what i do um i do i like old school country and this goes with Willie Nelson, Waylon Jenny, Jen, nothing, that. anything that wears a cowboy hat now and is 30 or 40 years old, I don't listen to that kind of stuff. But I don't even listen to that on the trail. Yeah. I listen to Priest, Saxon. Today I was listening to Merciful Fate the whole time. <laughs> I listen to, I'll listen to Rat, I'll listen to Dawkin, I'll listen to Dark Funeral, I'll listen to Dimmu Borger, I'll listen to Slipknot, I'll listen to anything, yeah. I'll listen to Hatred, I'll oh, listen yeah. to Havoc, I'll go all over the board, I'll listen to bands that are huge and bands that are not so huge, I'll listen to Old Firm Casuals, yeah. I'll listen to Dead Kennedys, I'll listen to, yeah. that's what I, uh, Plasmatics, yeah. Ted Nugent, you know what I mean? Scorpions, it don't matter. But it's, if it's hard, it's coming out of my ears, and that's what I listen to. I am a big fan of that. I will always be a big fan of that, and I will never... That, that's what I, keeps me doing this. Yeah, the whole you have idea. to be a fan first. Always. And, and I'm Definitely. not doing this because, oh, well, I'm this entity, and I've been doing this since 1986, and I play in a legendary band that helps start a genre of yeah. music. I don't do it because of that. Yeah. I'm glad that all that goes with it, but I do it because I love first. this shit. Yeah, I love you guys. I love when I walk out on fucking stage, and you animals are going ape shit. And I look out, and the minute we hit it, those fucking... 
fuckers are starting in the pit and you guys got your exo oh, yes. shirts on and you're going fucking nuts. Think about a band that's or even a rock band that goes and plays a concert and they look out on stage and the crowd is sitting there. They're not even standing or rocking. I mean, go see Fleetwood Mac. I love Fleetwood Mac or Heart. They, it's a sit down. Go concert, see it. It's right? a sit down. I, I, I don't even know if I know that live. I'm like, ah, uh, uh, Harry be like, Potter Symphony, I think, I, I was, was the like, last sit know, down I went to. What, like, I, I thought know? the word was rock and roll. Yeah. That means not just us up here. That means you motherfuckers You're out there. And rolling, so right? I know when I'm back playing to, on stage that my crowd. And I feel this with heavy metal. Yeah. It's the only true rebellious form of rock and roll music there is because yeah. the fans, if you think about the inception of it, when Elvis used to play it and they'd show you live things, the girls and everybody was going was like crazy in the crowd. And rocking and rolling. Rocking and rolling. Right, exactly. It, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like just sitting there going, oh, oh, that awesome. Great song. That's a beautiful song. I paid this much for this but ticket and I took a picture of it and I'm and here. Can, Adulation, I'm here. I'm please. Look at me. Adulation, please. Yeah, I look great. Oh. Yeah. Look at me. I'm with, look at, look at, you know, like, it's the Eagles behind me. I right. was a big fan. I'm, I, you know, fuck You know, that. a lot of people and a lot of things I've met, like the, the opportunities with you, I, I don't have photos of because I'm more in the moment of, 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 of course, you'll catch me on my phone. Social media is a necessary devil we all have. Oh, we all know about it, right? We all, but I, I still, there's a lot of things. I'm like, fuck, I wish I got a picture with him. But I was just more into digesting I the moment. I did a whole fucking tour you know? of Black like Sabbath crazy. in 92. Yeah. A whole tour of Black like when Sabbath. When I got the toy trains, I was yes. just I was just You were playing like, in their dressing room I with them. I just told that on my show last Wednesday. And, and I remember that. And, there was, uh, and their English show, oh, he likes Thomas the Tank Engine. And all the Black yeah. Sabbath guys are watching him yeah. play. And I think I took maybe four pictures on there because... You don't have this thing that's with you constantly yeah. to do that. And it wasn't the thing you did. Yeah. You didn't get next to your artist. Hey, can we take a picture? Can we take a picture? There's nowhere I go, son, where I go. And believe me, I don't mind. And to me, like I said, if I could have went with Led Zeppelin or one of my hero, Ted, you would have said I get I to take a picture with Ted Nugent. Yeah. yeah, totally. Christmas money <laughs> for two years. <laughs> Birthday. I yeah. mean, I would have would given, given anything, anything for, for that. Yeah. For that because it was what I was. It was what I was into. Yeah. Or horror. If you were going to tell me I was going to meet one of my you, horror heroes. Horror icons with or whatever. Boris Karloff. <laughs> Four birthdays and well, three Christmases no, I is mean, my, my deal. How about yeah. that? You I remember know? he used to take me to the Wonder Cons. Yeah, we um, to we met, one. who's died since then? Uh, the original Jason died. Yes, yeah. Came I on. remember I had my one talk with him. I went up to him uh, and I was like, hey man, and same thing. Didn't want to take a photo of him. Just wanted to meet, just the, wanted guy. To meet the guy. And I'm like, I just want to let you know I'm a big fan. I got the new one. It just came out. He was the first time he was not Jason. Right. And I was like, hey. How did um? How, what did you think of the new one? I, I go. I thought it was pretty good. And he goes, "You just liked it because there was tits in it." And I go, "Bro, I like blood more than I like tits." I was like 16 years old. He's all, "Yeah, kid." He like gave me some knuckles. It oh, was me. cool. He passed away. So, but yeah. like you said, moments like that. Like I, I met the original Jason Voorhees. Right. So I can't think of his you, name at the moment. But yeah, when when I mean WonderCon was a great place. Yeah. I got to meet um. Catherine Lee Scott, who was on Dark Shadows, she yeah. played Maggie Evans, yeah, and and cool. also Jasette, and I was like, <laughs> and I bought the almanac, and I was like, oh my god, she signed yeah. it to me, and I was like, this is like, and baby, like, and you guys are like, who the hell is she, Dad? She's an old lady, I'm all, I don't you, don't even know. you don't even know, she was a goddess to me when I was like five or yeah. six, and so those types of things is what she, well, again, your memories, yeah, yeah. So let's uh, let's talk about merchandise because yeah, I'm, I'm I've had you in here for a while. I want to get you out of here. I know you got shit going on. It's all good. Yeah, um, you got some new designs. Definitely. Where can we go get that stuff? And I'm gonna have my um, the old man Wayne here. He's gonna pop those up there so you can see some of these new designs. Definitely. So um, we currently have our own merchandise store going through our big cartel. So hatriot.bigcartel.com. That'll get you to the support the band the most direct way. You'll see a few items up there now. It's the first wave of our new line of merchandise. We kind of revamped everything kind of with the whole retaking Hatriot in a new direction and a new demeanor. Um, also uh, yeah, print. Don't you have print order print to on print? Demand too? Print we on demand. Also have Talk print about on that. Demand. Yeah, so uh, to one explain thing. Explain to people what that is because I, I only brought, learned yeah. about it. So Craigan, uh, Craigan's brought it up on there, and they actually have five or six designs over there, and you can put it on any kind of merchandise you want, which is awesome. And so uh, talk and it's about the process. Se what seasons, do you do? Seasonsofmist.com. Okay. So it's you can also find that we'll link. We'll pop that. We'll put seasonsofmist.com right Yeah, seasonsofmist right on there. We'll get, we'll um, I think it's also there. in our big cartel. I think there's links and stuff in there in case you're not seeing what you want to buy or something that you need a weird size for, odd size, oddball size. can they do your name on there? 
there? No, they it's, don't. so it's only select Hatriot logo. So I believe oh, we right. have we have a few of the albums on there. We have everything that you can get on the Big Cartel website, and then we also have a few exclusives on there too, which is cool. So Seasons of Mist has a few exclusives. We're also looking at doing some. So other the images I'm showing, right, I've, I've showed a few images. Yeah, a few images those are up new. there. Oh, those yeah, are the new images. Those are the new images, okay. right? Correct. And those are the Hatriot ones. Um, we worked with uh, um, an artist online with those and got those, and um, we love the way Diego. That they Diego, yes. I talked to him. Yeah, yeah. I had. I was going to need some artwork. It did it, what I wanted. He wasn't good at which you. I was great. Yeah, that happens. That's the same last name. That, yeah, I know. Did you noticed that. that I, was I, wild, I, I huh? didn't know that. Yeah, I, didn't, he, I didn't know if I could drop names or whatnot. But he's she can. Yeah, she sure. can. Yes. So, but yeah, I know Diego that Craig, Caesar, Craig and also. Right? Yeah, Craig and also works mm -hmm. with him. Um, he, you can he then, tell all the names you want. He, he works with no hate breed. I mean, he's a big. He's a big name. Yeah, he does good, and he does great prints and that for that kind of stuff. Yeah, I was looking for a different type thing for the new. I had to do that on Toxic Vault shirt that I'm working on right now and I'm looking and I have an artist doing it yeah so we have a new shirt coming people but I do we still have old shirts right Eight, nine. oh so there's, low. there's less than 10 so that then then I'm discontinuing I smell those. a flash sale <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I smell a flash sale I think there is isn't there, <laughs> isn't there, isn't there a promo clinic? code <laughs> promo code get it I think the promo code is get rid of these fucking shirts <laughs> right now so uh oh yeah yeah, so um, th that's good because I mean, fans love to represent. Dude, they really, people they're even so ask, proud. Like, my stream and like, no offense, I'm I'm just getting off the ground and they're like merch. And I'm like, uh, dude, the the the, the ROI on that merch right now, is going to be a When I loss. started the show, we <laughs> yeah. had remember we had the shirt from day one, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> yeah, because the guy who told me to start the show, um, yeah. actually executive producer for Creature Features, Jeff Bodine, he was the one who gave you know helped us with the cameras yeah. and got us going. He said. You need merch right out of the gate because people want to buy people, shit. Yeah. And son of a, it's we an sold. We had to re up them twice yeah, to do cool. it. So it, it I, was, I, we're working on ours. Um, personally, I want to get a Cody Twitch one and then a, a podcast one for our podcast of the week. So yeah. those will be working. So in, we in still that. have stuff. You can go to yeah. greyhavenmedia.net. I think there's a couple of busts left or something. Yeah, there's a couple I, I know on there. And then we still do patches and that kind of stuff and sign pictures from me personalized. Yeah. So there's still some stuff, but we got some, um, um, you know, merchandise coming back up there, you know. So, um, yeah. Give me all the rundown. Facebook, uh, Hatred. Give me all the uh, Twitter, Twitch. Do all that all stuff. The, We're active on almost everything now. Everything so, like I said, now, so. uh, our main staples are going to be Facebook and Instagram. That's definitely where probably the hottest. We got moderators on there working now. I um, appreciate Sean Reed up there keeping it, keeping it going, Good. keeping constant content, content, content. Um, we want to be your your metal avenue for entertainment, man. If we were to be betting men, which we are, mm -hmm. when would you? think? think we'll see new hatred that I am, we can get we can so there's some logistics in the contract that we need to get worked out um once those are solved i would like to be in the studio in the next few months um and then you're gonna have realistic realistic by the end of the year yes fall this year fall this fall year this where year. we are shooting for fall end of fall early winter that's what i'm asking for. okay early winter is now december 21st so you're oh, shooting no, for fall. Fall, fall then. We're shooting for yeah. fall. Okay, so you guys heard it. Even though things change and things happen. I'm kind of like trying to, I'm like thinking, yeah, right, right. Uh, and I'm, I would have it. Uh, and I'm trying to put a gun to his head for you guys right now. Give me an advice. I'm trying September, to get more October. information I'm for shoot, I'm shooting, I can give you for Exodus I'm right shooting now. September, October. September, October. New Hat Riot. Hat Riot. I love, I love hat the Hat Riot. riot. Dude, everyone loves I love that. Hat Riot. I, my, my, my favorite band, Zetro, is Hat Riot. I love Hat Riot. I love that. <laughs> well, son, I'm going to say thank you for Appreciate coming in. Appreciate you having me, Dad. I'm love me. Glad you. I love you, too. Yeah. It'll be great. I'm glad you and uh, your brother are doing really well. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and we, we and you're that. an uncle, and I'm a grandfather. Yeah, I'm uncle fucker. Well, well, finally, well, huh? I'm, I'm finally <laughs> your uncle. Fu you're really uncle. J uncle John was uncle fucker forever. forever. Now you're uncle fucker, yeah. and we can all get him on. And uh, but um, yeah. you guys, you've been hitting me up for hatred, and 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 I thought I would bring my son in here and have a good conversation yeah. with him. I hope this has been um, insightful for you and entertaining to hear about so the much. shit that we do in the banter yeah. that goes on. Obviously, I need you to leave me comments because we read everyone and that's part of the medium because I am interested in what you guys think, yeah. good or bad, you know what I mean? And even the bad stuff I've brought up before regardless. Dude, yeah, it's, it's, sometimes it. it's the best content. Part of it. Part of it. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's honest because I was reading a comment the other day that I, ag I agree with and I shouldn't. People yeah. like, and I'm going to say it right now, it was a comment on the Force of Habit um, episode, and the guy said, 
if Force of Habit is your favorite Exodus album, then you don't know Exodus. Hot. And I go, I read that and I said, <laughs> I agree with that. But I agree. I, if you, so if you're watching. That was someone's prom and, and album, I know, man. I know. Maybe it was. And I know like <laughs> Jason Bittner. That's his favorite really? record. I mean, like, yeah. And I, I, and I know people that say that. And I, and I, but when he, when I saw that, I go. Right. I agree. It's not the best I agree. of the definition I agree, of the word. Kinda, huh? if you don't, that's not a way. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to exemplify Exodus, yeah. don't play him Force of Habit. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, you're going to play him Persona Non Grata in the summer, believe me. <laughs> anyway, leave me comments. Hell yeah, guys. And, and, and if you haven't, fucking subscribe because the numbers yeah. are great and I see them growing. And you know what? I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing and coming in. And we have new... Viewers from all over the world, Slovenia, down in South America, and just keep coming because we're going to have much more content like this. Share my page, obviously, and uh, we'll see you in Zetro's Toxic Vault. Real Appreciate soon. you guys. Much love and a half. Have fun. Later.